In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to replace a TechSmith video with a direct link to a YouTube video in a Canvas course or on a Canvas page, actually. Now, this is a little bit of a weird situation, so I'll walk you through it the best I can. It's fairly straightforward. Back in the days when TechSmith was our main video platform, users used to embed their text or their YouTube videos into TechSmith and then in uh, and then put that TechSmith video into their Canvas course. So this is kind of an unusual situation. So what I'm talking about here is the videos we're looking at on this page are actually they actually reside in YouTube right now, but the link that's in Canvas goes through TechSmith. And what we need to do is we need to get rid of that and put a direct embed from YouTube on these pages because TechSmith is going away and also because the new platform Panopto doesn't have that capability, which isn't a big deal. So because we're working with YouTube videos and TechSmith, there's a couple of things we can do to make life a little bit easier as far as getting the embed code goes and how we go about this procedure. So when I look at this page, this is an easy one. It's only got two videos on it. Some of these pages have, you know, six or seven videos. But when I look at uh, this page, I know it's a YouTube video because it has the YouTube logo here, but I also know it's coming from TechSmith because of the way it is laid out on the page with this bottom gray border and this data and information in that border. I know it's a TechSmith video. So oh, the first thing that you do to accomplish this procedure is uh, while you're in Canvas, just go ahead and hit share. And what that's going to do is that's going to take us to this screen, which when I hit these three buttons, it's going to take me to YouTube. And when I'm directly in YouTube, I'm going to click share again, and I'm going to grab the embed code for this video, and I'm going to copy it. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go back into Canvas again, and I can click on edit in Canvas. And I'll wait for the editor to come up. And then on top of the old TechSmith video, and I like to put a couple of returns in here and you'll see why in a minute. On top of the original first TechSmith video, I'm going to place the embed code uh, in the video from YouTube, which will be the same video, only a different link. So I click on Insert, Embed, and then I'll paste my embed code in and submit, and my YouTube video is going to pop up here. So that one's done, and we can see the title of that one was UGI Routine After Films, and uh, again, we know it's the same, so we're good to go there. So we want to go ahead and save that, and now we're going to do the second video. To do the second video, we have to, we have to get back out of editing our page, and we're going to go down to the second video, and we're going to click on Share for this one, back to the three dots, and then Share once I'm in YouTube, grab the embed code, and copy it, and then I'll go back to Canvas again, and I'm going to click on Edit, and I'm going to place the one that I just copied below the first one. And there's a reason you do it this way. So I'm going to go to Insert, Embed, paste my embed code, hit Submit. So now that I've done that, I see that I have the two videos, UGI Routine After Films and Esophagram Routine After Films, from YouTube into Canvas. So now the next thing I want to do is get rid of these two. The reason I do it this way and stack the new links on top of the old links is it gives me a, um, a way to check to make sure I have all of the videos replaced. So the only really good way to get rid of these old ones is to go into the HTML editor. If you're not comfortable with that, you can try to do it in this editor and get your cursor placed just so and hit backspace, but it rarely works. So what you want to do in this case is just go to View and just go to the HTML editor. And if you haven't used HTML, don't worry about it. This is pretty easy. All of these videos are captured in uh, page sections called iframes. So all we need to do is look for the iframes and get rid of the ones we don't need. On this page, it's really easy. So we can see the new YouTube videos at the top. You can see this iframe, YouTube. Here's the second one, uh, iframe, YouTube. We can see those. And we know the iframe tag is closed here, so underneath that, everything is TechSmith. And if you look here, the iframe, um, it'll you just go through and you can see it's TechSmith. So you want to get rid of everything in these blocks. So you just take uh, the first TechSmith iframe and just drag it all the way down to the bottom because 
this represents two TechSmith videos on our page. And just highlight that, delete, and hit save. And then go back to check the page, and you'll see that you have your YouTube videos there with no uh, TechSmith videos underneath. So it's that easy. So the next thing you want to do when you get that done, if you're in Canvas, is go back to view all pages in this case. And so I've accomplished these two. Then I would go down to this next page, which is a positioning page, and repeat the process, which I won't do on the video, but we'll just take a look at this one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like six or seven videos on here. One way to do this, just to keep things straight, is you can make a note before you start of the names of the videos. Like you can make a, you know, you can have a notepad with you or you can copy and paste these video names uh, into a notepad or something like that and check them off as you go. However you want to do this is fine. Uh, everything works and uh, that's it. So if you have any questions, contact Dan and you can reach me anytime at 419-345-7220. Thanks.